see all the writing. Okay. 6x plus... Okay, hold on. So guys, first thing we're doing is, which number is it, Mimi? 36. 36. Mimi? Yeah. Please, never mind. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. And what is the uh, problem? 6x plus 2. I don't think this is working. Uh -huh. It's recording. I know, I know that. 2x squared minus 6x plus 1. Brian? I just need me to read it to me. Thank you. Okay, now, there are actually two ways to do this. You can multiply 6x plus 2 by each of these three terms, or you can multiply each of these two terms by 2x squared minus 6x plus 1. You should get the same answer either way. I think it's a little bit easier personally to do this. Take the 6x and multiply it by the 2x squared minus 6x plus 1 plus the 2, and multiply it by the 2x squared minus 6x plus 1. Okay? Yes, sir? Question. If I, I did it a little bit differently, I did 6x multiplied by the um, polynomial, uh -huh. or whatever, and then I did 2 multiplied by that polynomial. Isn't that what I have up here? Polynomial. Then I add it, I, um... Hold on, Brian, isn't that what I have up here? 6x times that? the polynomial plus 2 times the polynomial? Explain. Okay. Well, let me go on to my next step and see if it lines up. Let's see if we got the same answers. The only thing I did differently here was I do this step in columns. So 6 times 2 is 12. X times X squared is X cubed, right? Wait, what did it be? Oh. Okay. 6X times minus 6X gives me minus 36X squared. And 6X times plus 1 gives me plus 6X. Did I distribute 6X through the polynomial correctly? And then would you do plus 4x squared? <coughs> yes, now I would do plus 4x squared, and remember, I like to write it down here. Pardon? No. Now I'm multiplying the 2 times the 2x squared. And then the 2 times the minus 6x gives me minus 12x, and the 2 times the plus 1 gives me plus 2. And please double check now that I have put all my like terms in columns. Is that a bad thing if you just wrote it in one big line? No, and then we, you can do that underline trick I showed you, or you can just be really careful. I leave it up to you. Is this yes. okay if it's like slanting up and diagonal? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, for the oh, for the recording. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> this is number thirty-six. Yes. Well, I don't have an answer yet. Oh. Okay. So my final answer is going to be twelve x cubed. What next? Minus x. 32. 32, which I heard but cannot write apparently. 32x squared, okay. Minus 5. Minus 5. No, minus 5. Minus 6x. Wait. Plus 6, minus 12. Oh, never mind. Plus 2. I wrote 1 instead of 12. That will make a difference. I did it. Okay. Everybody good on 36? Okay, I'm a little worried on time, so if there are other questions on homework, if you're really organized, you can ask me tomorrow or come see me during tutorial. Um, may I erase this one? No. Okay. Oh wait, how do I get the notes? Um, uh, from here or, from, or copy someone else's? Yeah. Copying someone else's would be fine. Okay, now, today, we were talking about polynomials last time. And polynomials, you're not going to have a similar project like the wonderful one, seriously, I'm impressed, you guys did on the parabola, but you are going to start graphing polynomials like we have been graphing parabolas. And the first thing you need to do is get some practice at factoring them. So this is going to seem like a random exercise for the next couple days, and it won't be until sometime next week or possibly even later that you all start putting it together, and I can hand you a parabola, and you can graph it, I can, excuse me, I can hand you a polynomial, and you can graph it with almost the same confidence that you can a parabola. Graphing polynomials is a lot more complicated. There's a lot more that's going on, and it gets more complicated each degree. In other words, x cubes are usually harder than x squared, x to the fourth, x to the fifth. They can get much harder. Um, so first, we're going to learn some tricks, okay? Yes. Okay, so we're going to start with factoring polynomials. Now when I said factoring quadratics, that almost always meant reverse foiling. Almost always. Maybe difference of squares, maybe perfect squared trinomial, almost always reverse foiling. 
Factoring polynomials can mean about nine different things. And we're going to start with two of them today. The first one is simplest one and one that people always forget. Find the greatest common factor. Hopefully this will be one of the easier ones. Um, finding the greatest common factor. Bless you. To steal a one from the book. When are we gonna learn about tangents and cosine? Next. Well, actually, no, not next. After logarithms, which are backwards exponents. Oh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so I love them. You kind of need it for the ACT and Yeah. Really? Yeah, yep. Yep. Okay, 6x squared plus 15x. Do these two monomial terms He's being added wrong. together, making a polynomial, have any factors in common? No. No? What do you mean? Really? Are there any things, like, if you think about, guys, if you think of, you're doing multiples, other direction. Um, if you think about things that um, multiply to make 6, things three. that multiply to make 15x. 3. 3. 3 is 1. Do they have anything else in common? One. X. One. Yes, oh. they both have X's. And they do have 1 in common. True. Yeah. That's very true. We're not going to make use of that right now. But So, okay, these have a 3 and an X in a common. Here's how I picture this when you find the greatest common factor. I ask myself, what would I have to multiply by 3X to get back to 6X squared? 2X. 2x. 3x times blank gets me 6x squared. 3x times what gets five. me 5? Five. 5. 5 gets me 15x, excuse me, as I call out the answer. So this is 2x plus 5. Not 5x, because 3x times 5x would get me 15x squared. Okay? So that's pulling out the greatest common factor. It's asking yourself, what could you remultiply by this to get back to where you started? Um, that is then always double check to make sure you found the greatest common factor with whatever's left. Have we found the greatest common factor with whatever's left? You have no idea? Do 2x and 5 have anything in common that we've missed no. other than 1? No. No, I don't think so. I think they're in pretty good shape. Um, let's find another one with greatest common factors. Okay, another example. 3x, what number was this? I have no short term memory anymore. 3x to the fourth minus 12x cubed. Okay, what do these have in common? 3x. 3? 3x squared. 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 3x squ